Hello friends! Sometimes we look like this. Um, I just want to get straight into this one today because I kind of was sitting here like what do I want to film, what do I want to play with today and I was like you know what nothing. <laughs> I don't want to play with anything today. I'm not feeling it but maybe I will after I apply some makeup but yeah I was sitting here in a little bit of a rut maybe you could say and I was looking at my reflection and I was like, this isn't cute. How am I supposed to feel inspired looking like this? I look like I'm having a sick day. I look like I'm having a couch day when no one's gonna see me. And that's not the vibe I'm really going for. So I kind of wanted to sit down today and tell you how I go from like this to this. Let's be honest, it's very sweaty weather and the hair is getting greasy every single day. First thing I wanna do is just, I wanna sort my hair out later. I just wanna put it up. I love a big clip and I just get it out of the way. I have got dry shampoo in it, so you might be able to see like a little, a cast, but if you can, that's cool. I find even pulling my hair back just makes me go from like zero to even like just 10. It gives me one extra point, zero to one. It gives me a little extra just by pulling my hair back and not looking like the troll who lived under the bridge. So I wanna shove a little bit of moisturizer on. And to be honest, every morning when I wake up for work at the moment, I'm just so like, I don't wanna make a fuss. I wanna look nice, I wanna look put together. I don't wanna look like how I feel, okay? This is maybe what we're gonna title it. How to not look like how you feel. <laughs> so I just have a little bit of moisturizer on just to kind of make sure that I don't get all dry throughout the day because I'm a dry skin queen. And I cannot be bothered for a full coverage foundation. So at the moment I have just been using the MAC Studio uh, Face and Body Foundation. Mine is in the shade C1. Um, and honestly, a lot of people are probably gonna hate what I'm about to do now. I'm gonna shove like this much in my hands, rub it together and rub it in my skin. And I feel like if you're not feeling very well, trying to get ready for work or trying to just get ready for your day is so difficult because you look in the mirror and you're like I look like rubbish I feel like rubbish and yeah this is kind of like my quick and easy steps to just look better in yourself and get ready for the days that you don't want to get ready for so if, if I don't have a few blemishes going around I'll probably just leave it at that just to kind of even my skin out but I'm just gonna go for a tiny bit more again like a 5 pp size but it's really watery and you don't have to use your hands if you don't want to you can just use a brush but honestly when I'm just sitting down to do my makeup in the morning it's easier just for me to just quickly wash my hands in between. Sometimes I do this at my bathroom sink as well. And if I'm not in a complete rush, I'll just take my dampened sponge. Again, I do this sometimes just over my bathroom sink. I just quickly get ready in front of the sink and just shove a little bit on my face. And if I kind of just zoom in a little bit, you can see what my skin's looking like. It's, you know, it's got a few blemishes around the area, but it's just overall just been kind of smoothed out and kind of given one uh, shade. Sometimes I go in with my It Cosmetics CC Cream. I really like this, it's nearly run out and I just do exactly the same. But today I just want something to make me look really put together, but not take too much time over it and not put too much effort in. I'm just gonna grab my concealer and just go over these blemishes a little bit and just anywhere where I want a little bit more coverage. So here I have like, this weird mark going on. So just spot a little bit there, a little bit here, bridge my nose, and then just here where my eyes are really, like I have really dark under eyes. Um, I don't know if it's like a, a diet thing for me or a sleep thing, but I go in like ebbs and flows of really dark under eyes, but I don't wanna overdo it, okay? I know that looks like a lot, but honestly it's not a lot of product, I just dabbed it on. And just while that's kind of marinating, I'm just gonna push up my brow hairs and just kind of prep them for some product. I wanna go back in my wet beauty blender or sponge, whatever and just tap in that concealer. And it's at this stage I feel so much better already, just evening out my complexion with a really thin, liquidy foundation. You could go for Fenty Easy Drops, um, or the It Cosmetics one, or MAC Face and Body. Anything that's nice and thin and just liquidy, I'm not too full coverage, I'm not too thick, I'm not too high maintenance, I'm not gonna look crusty throughout the day, that's kind of what I like. And just kind of perfecting my base without it being too full coverage. Um, I've been really liking the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen at the moment. I've got mine in the shade light brown um it is a little bit of annoyance because you have to keep it upside down otherwise like the juice makes the tip dry because it's a felt tip and honestly i really don't do too much to my brows i am fortunate to have some brows but i don't want to take too much time at the end of the day if i'm feeling grotty if i'm feeling like i don't want to get ready and i just want to stay in bed for another 10 minutes i don't want to be taking out more time on brows so honestly done like literally done
I mean, that's relatively me done for brows, apart from a little bit of brow gel, which I want to put in now, which is the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Literally one of my favorite products. I don't know what I did before this. Um, and I'll just go in with a bit of a spoolie and just push the brows up and kind of make them look nice and fluffy. When they're, um, when they're up, not laminated, but when they're up, it just makes it look like you're more awake. When they're slumped down, you look a bit more, well, down. I don't know if that made any sense, but it did in my head. And I'll quickly just take my finger and just kind of flatten it and run them through in the general direction that I want, just so they're not too perfected. I haven't got lots of product in them, so I don't want them to look perfected. I just want them to look awake. And yeah, that is me done for brows. I'm not gonna do a massive amount for my cheeks and products, but I do just wanna take this. This is the Rimmel Insta Duo Contour Stick. What I like about this is it's literally just in front of me. And there's a bit of everything there. Do that, that, and a few little lines here, and here. I'll just take whatever brush is in front of me. This is just a foundation brush that I was using the other day. I'm gonna kind of just brontour a little bit here. What I like about cream products the most is they're quick, they blend out really nicely, they stay on the skin nicely, and also they're quite, well, a lot of them I find are quite lightweight, so they're not, you know, you don't have to build them up or anything like that. If they look a little bit patchy, it's okay because it kind of just blends into your skin. When I say patchy, I mean this sort of situation. It doesn't look patchy as in gross, it just looks like my natural skin is having a little bit of a, you know, an uneven moment, and that's fine. I then do love a liquid blush. I love this one from Flower Beauty, it's called Pinched. Um, one of their flower bombs, I just take a little bit, maybe this much. I like to just place it on my cheeks first. This looks really messy, but it's fine. And then we just take that beauty blender and just kind of go over it. And this is really, really sheer, so it adds a wash of colour to the skin without you having to really blend anything. And then I'll go back to the Rimmel stick, add a little bit of highlighter. Back in with the beauty blender, just pounce around. I haven't cleaned this off from the blush or the bronzer, I just don't mind it all amalgamating together. And some days I feel like I do want to just tidy this up just around my jowl area if the blush and the bronzers come down a bit. So if I'm not feeling in a rush or if I actually feel like I can be bothered, I just do a few dabs of concealer just here. Go back into the sponge that I was using and just kind of clean it up a little bit. And that is it for the face, honestly, just very, very natural, very barely there, but it's quick and it's easy. For eyeshadow, I mean, it depends how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling really unwell or just like tired and sleep very well, I don't want to do too much eyeshadow. What I like to do is just take my DIY palette or whatever I've got in front of me, literally whatever I've got in front of me, and go for kind of like a saddly brown, something, just something very natural, and just shove this through the crease. I've also got the Vive eye crayons and they're really good. So sometimes I just go and then pat it out my finger and then we're done. It's kind of, do you know what, honestly, it is literally what's ever in front of me. When I'm not feeling great, I don't even want to be able to think about it. I just want to slap some products on to make me look a little bit more awake and put together like I've actually got up and I'm not feeling gross or anything and I'm just getting ready for the day. So that's all I do, throw that in the crease. All of these brushes are really dirty. Get something a little bit darker. So maybe something like this, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, something like this perhaps. And just place this on the outer corner. Not much thought, I don't wanna pick up loads of product. I just wanna swipe it in the outer corner just to give it a little bit of depth. I like to put a bit of sparkle on the lid, I love a bit of sparkle. I like to go for taupey colors, I feel like they always look nice. And just with my finger, just kind of pat it in. I love using my fingers, I find it a really quick way. It's like a quick and blended way of doing a makeup. And then go into an inner corner highlight shade, just like this. Can you see how really quick and easy this is? Literally not much thought at all, eyes done. If that was a minute, if that was 30 seconds, I don't know, it wasn't long at all, but that is me done. Sometimes I find that I have blended this bit a bit too harsh, and if that's the case, I just sit here for a second and just kind of with no product on just blend around and if I still find it a bit harsh like I've put too much product on I go for like a bone matte white or just a pressed powder something that's in front of me and just kind of fluff it on the brow bone 
just kind of soften that edge but like I said sometimes I don't even do that sometimes I just get a crayon and I just put it through my crease and just dab it out it's all about how I'm feeling that day I am a nude queen I love a nude lip so I just take some this is boldly mac boldly bare and I just outline my lip and I just fill it in a tiny bit just a touch like that I then pop on a little bit of lip gloss I love the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb I think this is in yeah Fenty Glow and I run it in the inside and then just get my finger and tap it out and I like that it just kind of makes my lips look a little bit juicy and healthy and then for the bit I absolutely hate because it takes ages is a mascara so I grab a mascara honestly sometimes I do this in the car when I get to work if I'm running late or I can't be bothered and I just blink a little bit but mascara is what it is you can't be quick with mascara otherwise it gets messy so I'll speed this bit up And that is it for mascara. I do find that sometimes I'm a bit messy, so I just take a Q-tip and just kind of rub away the mascara that's on my lid. If I'm in the car doing this and I don't have it, I just get a bit of tissue and roll it up to a point, just to kind of do the same sort of thing. But that, for the makeup, is literally it. That is, that's the easiest, quickest thing ever. Just sitting here and stopping and talking about the products and explaining it has taken me less than 15 minutes. Face is done, that is literally all I do. There's some colour to it, I look like I've put myself together. I look like I've woken up and actually tried. Like, I really like this. I feel like it's nice, simple, non-offensive, easy, mess-free, quick. If I'm feeling ill, it's gonna make me look nicer again. It just adds a bit of something to me. The rest of me is looking a bit of a mess. So I will usually not wear anything slouchy. I don't like to wear slouchy wear. I think it makes me look tired and lazy. It just gives me the lazy vibe. But what I do like doing is putting on a nice shirt. I find just putting on a shirt, even if you're kind of at home or doing, you know, just running errands or something like that, it just makes you look so much smarter. So if I was going to work, I'd pair this shirt with a pair of trousers and a pair of loafers or a pair of heels, depending on how, like, how I'm feeling, if I'm in a rush or not. Um, and I just literally wear it like this. Sometimes I like to undo the second button if I'm feeling particularly airy and fairy. I have already pre-rolled these sleeves up, these do come all the way down, but this helps it look more casual, just kind of rolling it up and having the very floaty vibe. And like I said, where if I was going to work and I'd wear a pair of trousers with this and kind of tuck the front in just to look a little bit more formal and a little bit dressed up. If I was just at home or like it was on the weekend or I'm just running a few errands, I'd just put a pair of jeans on and style it exactly the same way with a pair of jeans and trainers, just kind of make it a little bit more casual. But I feel like a shirt just... <laughs> It doesn't have to necessarily be a fitted shirt, but just a shirt, a button up, um, I do find just makes you look more put together without even trying. Like I put one garment on, it's comfy enough to not feel restricted or anything like that. It's not quite blouse level um, and I just feel already put together. So that's that. Let me sort out this mane. Take it as if I was going to take a ponytail and kind of just twist it and kind of like loop it like this. Take my clip again and just squeeze it in. And I find this, right, I'm gonna try and turn around and show you. I've got my little mirror here just so I can see what I'm doing. I find this quite a quick and easy way of just making my hair look nice and put together, like I've actually combed it and actually done something with it without actually doing anything to it. All I've done is brush my greasy hair with dry shampoo in it into like a, a clip and it just kind of looks nice. If you didn't have greasy hair like me right now, you could just pull a few bits out of the front and just kind of make it look nice. But I'm happy with this. As far as accessories go, I'm a bit rubbish and I always forget to accessorise. I wear my one ring all the time and that just kind of stays on me. But I do find a nice pair of earrings, whether you go for dangly or studs, just something. It kind of looks, again, like you've made more of an effort and you've just shoved a pair of earrings in your ear. Um, if you want to wear necklaces, go for it. But when I'm not feeling great, when I'm not feeling very well, I don't like to wear much jewellery. Earrings feel like they're a bit not there. So yeah, that's what I do to make myself go from zero to well, maybe not 100, but like 0 to 10. <laughs> it makes me go from really, really feeling lazy, not great, feeling gross, looking in the mirror going, oh my God, I don't I don't see what's going to happen today. How am I going to make myself look good? To just at least fresh, awake and ready for the day, like I'm having my life together, to be honest. Please let me know down below what your quick steps are or your quick routine to kind of go from really lazy, tired, not put together to kind of fresh and have my life together. You know, everything's all good. Let me know what you do, because this is literally what I do every day for work. Sometimes I change it up with the eyeshadow, like I said, whatever's in front of me. Sometimes I get a blue eyeshadow and I'm like, 
with a bit of brown on the grease. Some days, some days, but most of the time, nine times out of 10, this is what I've been doing to pull my life together a little bit, to look in my reflection and at least be happy with what I see, to look like I've got a control a little bit, when the reality is, as I've literally just taken 15 minutes to pull myself together, throw on a shirt, put my hair up, it's all looking good, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And like I said, let me know what you do, if you've got any tips, any hacks, have you got a hack? Where's my mascara? Have you got a hack to do your mascara quicker? Because it takes me ages. I just sit there going blink, 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 blink. It takes me ages. It's the longest part of my makeup routine. It takes me about five minutes to do my mascara. My brows are quicker than my mascara. It's not on. There's got to be a hack out there somewhere. So if you have one, let me know. But guys, thank you so much for watching, like I said, once again. And yeah, freshen yourself up. Feel good. Feel good when you look in the mirror. This is what I do. I'm rambling on. Take care, stay safe. Thumbs this video up, subscribe, do all those lovely YouTube things, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.